The Philippine Republic, Spanish, Republica Filipina, Filipino, Republicang Filipino, more commonly known as the First Philippine Republic or the Malolos Republic, was a nascent revolutionary government in the Philippines. It was formally established with the proclamation of the Malolos Constitution on January 21, 1899, in Malolos, Bulacan, and endured until the capture of President Emilio Aguinaldo by the American forces on March 23, 1901, in Palanan, Isabela, which effectively dissolved the First Republic. The First Philippine Republic was established after the Philippine Revolution against Spanish Empire 1896-1897 and the Spanish-American War between Spain and the United States 1898. Following the American victory at the Battle of Manila Bay, Aguinaldo returned to the Philippines, issued the Philippine Declaration of Independence on June 12, 1898, and established a revolutionary Philippine government. In December 1898, Spain sold the Philippines to the United States in the 1898 Treaty of Paris, making the United States formally the Philippines' colonial power. The Malolos Constitution establishing the First Philippine Republic was proclaimed the following month. The Philippine-American War began in February 1899, which the Philippine Republic lost. The Philippine Republic was the first constitutional republic in Asia. Although there were several Asian republics predating the First Philippine Republic for example, the Republic of Formosa or the Republic of Ezo, the Republic at Malolos was the first to frame a comprehensive constitution duly approved by a partially elected Congress. History In 1896, the Philippine Revolution began against Spanish colonial rule. In 1897, Philippine forces led by Aguinaldo signed a ceasefire with the Spanish authorities and Aguinaldo and other leaders went into exile in Hong Kong. In April 1898, the Spanish-American War broke out. The U.S. Navy's Asiatic Squadron, then in Hong Kong, sailed to the Philippines to engage the Spanish naval forces. On May 1, 1898, the U.S. Navy decisively defeated the Spanish Navy in the Battle of Manila Bay. Later in May, Aguinaldo returned to the Philippines, established a dictatorial government on May 24, 1898, formally established by decree on June 18, and on June 12, 1898, at Aguinaldo. S. Ancestral Home in Cavite, issued the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spain. Following the proclamation of independence Aguinaldo established a revolutionary government on June 23, 1898, under which the partly elected and partly appointed Malolos Congress convened on 15 September to write a constitution. On December 10, 1898, the 1898 Treaty of Paris was signed, ending the Spanish-American War and transferring the Philippines from Spain to the United States. The Malolos Constitution written by the Congress was proclaimed on of January 1899, creating what is known today as the First Philippine Republic, with Aguinaldo as its president. The constitution was approved by delegates to the Malolos Congress on January 20, 1899, and sanctioned by Aguinaldo the next day. The convention had earlier elected Aguinaldo president on January 1, 1899, leading to his inauguration on January 23. Parts of the constitution gave Aguinaldo the power to rule by decree. The constitution was titled Constitution Politica", and was written in Spanish. Philippine–American War When the First Philippine Republic was constituted on January 22, 1899 in Malolos, that municipality became the seat of government of the Philippine Republic, and was serving as such when hostilities erupted between U.S. and Filipino forces in the Second Battle of Manila on February 4. On February 4, 1899, armed conflict erupted in Manila between Philippine Republic forces and American forces occupying the city subsequent to the conclusion of the Spanish-American War. That day President Aguinaldo issued a proclamation ordering and commanding that peace and friendly relations with the Americans be broken and that the latter be treated as enemies, within the limits prescribed by the laws of war. The fighting quickly escalated into the Second Battle of Manila, with Philippine Republic forces being driven out of the city, American forces pushing north from Manila after the outbreak of fighting captured Caloocan on February 10. 
On March 29, as American forces threatened Malolos, the seat of government moved to San Isidro, Nueva Ecija. On March 31, American forces captured Malolos, the initial seat of the Philippine Republic government, which had been gutted by fires set by withdrawing Philippine Republic forces. Emilio Aguinaldo and the core of the revolutionary government had by then moved to San Isidro, Nueva Ecija. Peace negotiations with the American Sherman Commission during a brief ceasefire in April to May 1899 failed, and San Isidro fell to American forces on May 16. The Philippine Republic Corps government had moved by then to Bamban, Tarlac, and subsequently moved to Tarlac Town. Aguinaldo S. Party had already left Tarlac, the last capital of the Philippine Republic. By the time American troops occupied it on November 13, American forces captured Calumpit, Bulacan on April 27, and, moving north, captured Apalit, Pampanga with little opposition on May 4 and San Fernando, Pampanga on May 5. This forced the seat of government to be shifted according to the demands of the military situation. In October 1899, American forces were in San Fernando, Pampanga, and the Philippine Republic was headquartered not far north of there, in Angeles. On October 12, an American offensive to the north forced the Philippine Republic to relocate its headquarters in November to Tarlac, and then to Bayambang, Nueva Vizcaya. On November 13, under pressure by American forces, Aguinaldo and a party departed Bayambang by rail for Kalashau, Pangasinan, from where they immediately proceeded eastwards to Sta. Barbara in order to evade pursuing American forces. In Sta. Barbara, they joined a force of some 1,200 armed men led by General Gregorio del Pilar. On November 13, in a conference in Bayambang, Pangasinan, Aguinaldo decided to disperse his army and begin guerrilla war. From that point on, distance and the localistic nature of the fighting prevented him from exercising a strong influence on revolutionary or military operations. Recognizing that American troops blocked his escape east, he turned north and west on 15 November, crossing the mountains into La Union Province. Aguinaldo's party eluded pursuing American forces, passing through Tarad Pass near Sagada, Mountain Province where the Battle of Tarad Pass was fought on December 2 as a rear guard action to delay the American advance and ensure his escape. At the time of the battle, Aguinaldo and his party were encamped in Cervantes, about 10 kilometers south of the pass. After being notified by a rider of the outcome of the battle and the death of Del Pilar, Aguinaldo ordered that camp be broken, and departed with his party for Cayan settlement. Aguinaldo was captured by American forces on March 23, 1901 in Palanan, Isabela. Following his capture, Aguinaldo announced allegiance to the United States on April 1, 1901, formally ending the First Republic and recognizing the sovereignty of the United States over the Philippines. Aguinaldo's party, traveling with Del Pilar's force, reached Manawag, Pangasinan on November 15. There, the force was split into vanguard and rear guard elements, with Aguinaldo and Del Pilar in the vanguard. The vanguard force overnighted in Tubao, La Union, departed there on November 16, and was in Nagilian, La Union by November 19, where word was received that American forces had taken Santo Tomas and had proceeded to Aringay. Aguinaldo's force arrived in Balawan, La Union on November 19, pushed on the next day, and arrived at the Tarad Pass, a natural choke point, on November 23. General Del Pilar decided to place a blocking force in Tarad Pass to delay pursuing American forces while Aguinaldo's party moved on. The Battle of Tarad Pass took place on December 2, 1899. Fifty-two men of Del Pilar's 60-man force were killed, including Del Pilar himself. However, the Filipinos under Del Pilar held off the Americans long enough for Aguinaldo party to escape. Aguinaldo, encamped with his party about 10 kilometers south of the pass in Cervantes, Ilocos Sur, was apprised of the result of the battle by a rider, and moved on. The party reached Banane Settlement on December 7, where Aguinaldo paused to consider plans for the future. On December 16, the party departed for Abra to join forces with General Manuel Tinio. The party traveled on foot through a pass at the summit of Mount Polis, and arrived at Ambayuan the next morning. 
the party pushed on to Banane, pursued closely by American forces. At this point, Aguinaldo S. Party consisted of one field officer, 11 line officers, and 107 men. The remainder of December 1899 was spent in continuous trek. The party was at the border of Abra and Cagayan provinces on Aguinaldo's 31st birthday on March 23, 1900. The trek from place to place continued until about May 22, 1900, when Aguinaldo established a new headquarters in Tierra Virgin. On August 27, 1900, after American forces landed at Apari, Cagayan, Aguinaldo concluded that Tierra Virgen had become untenable as a headquarters and decided to march to Palanan, Isabela. On December 6, 1899, the party reached Dumasari, and arrived in Palanan the following morning. Aguinaldo remained in Palanan until his capture there by American forces with the aid of the native scouts on March 25, 1901. Organization. National Cabinet Article 73 of the Constitution established a Council of Government cabinet, composed of a president and seven secretaries. The following individuals were appointed to cabinet positions. Notes The cabinet only met in a few times in 1899. Provincial and local government Municipal and provincial governments under the Republic had quickly reorganized upon Aguinaldo's decrees of June 18 and 20, 1898. The Malolos Constitution had cited on Article 82 the organization of provincial and popular assemblies which had the power of taxation. The government also claimed jurisdiction over the overseas territory of Palaos modern-day Palau and the Sulu Archipelago. Both areas are represented in the Congress by representatives appointed by President Emilio Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo sent a letter to the Sultan of the Sulu Sultanate requesting the islands to be part of the First Philippine Republic but the letter was ignored. It was reported in 2003 that Philippine Congressman Harry Roque argued that Spain could not have legally ceded Palmas or any part of the Philippines to the United States because Filipinos had already established the Republic of the Philippines on June 12, 1898 before the Treaty of Paris was signed on December 10, 1898. Judiciary Provisional law on the judiciary was issued on March 7, 1899, in accordance to the provisions of the 1899 Malolos Constitution providing that the Chief Justice shall be chosen by the National Assembly with the concurrence of the President and Secretaries of the Government. Aguinaldo appointed Apolinario Mabina to be the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines on August 23, 1899, however, the appointment did not materialize because of the Philippine-American War. Finances One of the important laws passed by the Malolos Congress was the law providing for a national loan to buoy the national budget in which the Republic was trying to balance. The loan, worth 20 million pesos, was to be paid in 40 years with an annual interest of 6%. The law was decreed by Aguinaldo on November 30, 1898. Military When Philippine independence was declared on June 12, 1898, the Philippine Revolutionary Army was renamed the Philippine Republican Army. Aguinaldo then appointed Antonio Luna as Director or Assistant Secretary of War by September 28, 1898, and the Philippines' first military school, the Academia Militar was established in Malolos. When the Republic was inaugurated on January 23, Luna had succeeded Artemio Ricarte as the Commanding General of the Republican Army. With such powers at hand, Luna attempted to transform the weak, undisciplined revolutionary army into a disciplined regular army for the service of the Republic. Seats of government Malolos, the official capital of the First Philippine Republic in September 1898 General Emilio Aguinaldo made the Parroquia de la Inmaculada Concepción and Augustinian Erect Town Church of Malolos now Cathedral Basilica, as the executive palace while the nearby Barisayan Church served as the legislative house where the Malolos Constitution was made. 
When the Americans captured Malolos Aguinaldo ordered General Antonio Luna to burn the Malolos Church including its huge silver altar. Side co-house, Emilio Aguinaldo's office at Nueva Ecija The house became the seat of General Emilio Aguinaldo's First Philippine Republic when he established it as his headquarters in San Isidro during the last part of his odyssey from the American forces. On 29 March 1899, Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo arrived in San Isidro, Nueva Ecija and the town made as temporary capital of the First Philippine Republic. He stayed in this house which served as his executive office. When the Americans occupied San Isidro, the Sideco House served as the headquarters of Col. Frederick Funston who would later capture General Aguinaldo in Palanan, Isabella. General Aguinaldo's capture is said to have been planned in this house. It is now occupied by a Christian organization. Notes References Sources <laughs>